In Spain, a courageous group of women have ditched phones, tablets and tech to become fierce knights of the realm. Far from historical battle reenactment, this is a brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat sport called full contact medieval fighting. It was very strong hit by Paul. Huh? It's a world dominated by men, but these trailblazing women are fighting at international level for the very first time. This is the first time that women have been allowed to compete. I'm very, very, very proud of uh, the, the female fighters. They're warriors. My name's Sophie Moore. Hi, my name is Marta. My name is Amy Graham, and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. The sport began in Eastern Europe, and now 20 nations compete. It's even popular in countries that don't strictly have a medieval history. The weapons we use are not sharp, but they're real. They're real metal. People do get hurt, depending on the level of the armor that they're wearing. I, myself, I've broken several bones over the years of doing this. Uh, luckily, none of them mine. Poor fighters! My big brother, Jeff. I see, uh... He taught me everything I know. Well, not quite, but he certainly made me tough. Not true. <laughs> Growing up, he made me very tough. <laughs> a pole arm weighs in at around three and a half kilos. That's gotta hurt. She's only fought with this one time before, but uh, she has a great center, really good power, uh, and she can keep her head. These are your referees and judges. Good strikes must have sufficient impact. That is well yeah, hard enough. To win a duel, a fighter needs to score more hits than their opponent, and each fight is the best of three rounds. All the fighters take preparations very seriously. <laughs> uh, this is Arena. She is my strapper. So she's the person that gets me in and out of my gear and makes sure I have water and food and everything I need, and she knows how to put this on better than I do. The pole arm competition goes well for Sophie until she meets Lisa from the USA. Again, bye. This was made by my husband, Justin. So he is New Zealand's full-time armorer. This is spring steel. It's two mil spring steel, so it's a super hard metal, which means that I can take a lot of force on my skull. And I've also got extra padding for my neck, so if I get any neck shots, then hopefully the, the impact won't travel through to my spine. Uh, I've also got a harness on the inside which supports my head, which is just another way to not have that force translate into the skull. She was an amazing hitter. It's like walking into a brick wall over and over again. Oh, Christ. For Polish fighter Marta, lucky charms come in the shape of a trusty axe. My little axe with heart, it's for a girl, uh, it's violet, and uh, my friend Blacksmith do this specially for me uh, for these championships. But while Marta and her axe arrived in Spain, her armour got stuck in transit. So she's had to borrow a male teammate, and it doesn't quite fit. I'm feeling uh, very upset. When I use it someone else's helmet, uh, I don't uh, see anything. That's a problem. And sometimes I can't breathe. <laughs> I go fight. We will see. <laughs> the mighty Lisa from America is taking no prisoners smashing her way through the competition and Marta in the group stages. Oh, my arm was stopped. It was very strong hit by Polar. And it was still very strong hit by Polar. Mr. Blacksmith will be very busy man when he gets this helmet to fix all of it. <laughs> Dueling against a single opponent is one thing. A melee or group fight is quite another. 
We're about to go out and face an international mixed team. For mild-mannered marketing manager Amy, this competition marks an important milestone in her own personal battle. Seven years ago, I weighed uh, over 450 pounds, and I had a gastric bypass. And uh, at that point in time, I was down to 386. And last April 12th, I weighed 207. I'm down to 205, 204 right now. Uh, I've converted a lot of the fat in my body to muscle. I am headed to the gym. We have 15 days uh, before the tournament. The first women's international group fight is USA versus the world. And Amy is America's weapon of mass destruction. Two of the team came to me and said, you need to be the pain bringer. And then you need to have a pole axe because that is what is going to make the women drop. We just won the first international melee competition for women. Uh, it was ma magnificent. We fought the world, literally. This is the first time I used a punch shield, yes. and it rocks the house. <laughs> Valkyries! Not all countries fighting here have the prowess of America or Poland. Some just run on pure enthusiasm. I have the fighting spirit to win, but I don't know if I have the practicing. That's the little problem for me. If I remember correctly, I went to the training as usual, and there was someone there, very quiet, very timid. That was Eve. Eve's first opponent is an experienced sword and shield fighter from Spain. Good game! I guess that means Captain Laurent is pretty happy. But the win is marred by an injury from a sword strike. Yeah, the injury is very bad. It actually um, changed color. Yeah. It's a bit more uh, orange. And in the next round, France's fighter causes Eve even more problems. Uh, well, she's very upset because uh, the French fighter was hitting on purpose on her injuries because she knew that she was injured, she saw that before, and that's why she was hitting on purpose. It doesn't bring any points, but of course, if you hit on, a, on an injury, it will of course slow her down, hurt her, and make her unable to do a, a good blows. I'm happy I'm I win one, Italy and that's and my, my uh, goal, so it's okay. <laughs> Such is the passion of women to fight at this tournament that Sophie and Rachel carried 60 kilos of armour in their luggage halfway across the globe to compete. That's a hefty amount of excess baggage. Sometimes even in New Zealand it hasn't been considered appropriate for women to be out on the battlefield. Especially fighting men. So me and Sophie, we've told people to call us our man names if they want to cheer for us. So when I go out people yell for Ray. And I'm and Shane. <laughs> I should really watch the other girls. It's so cold. It is. It's marvellous. It's called ice cream. Mm. But the air miles are worth it, as medals and glory are at stake. She wants us. You want it too. Come on. You can do it. Go. Yeah? A lot of people feel that this is more of a manly pursuit, but I don't really think in terms of gender, I just think in terms of people. And I sort of never really thought of myself as being a, a woman fighter. I always just considered myself to be a fighter. Anybody can be one if they want to be. New Zealand. Exhilarated, happy as Larry. I don't have to.
to do it again this weekend either. That's the best bit of all. It's great for me. I'm so happy that we both won a medal because I really think that it will encourage other New Zealand women. I think my cats will be very proud of me. <laughs> In all seriousness, they're going to be stoked. <laughs> they're going to spit on that medal. <laughs> There's massive pressure to deliver a win for their teams, and victory means everything for the female fighters. We've got our female champion out here, Lisa Galley. Uh, we've got uh, high hopes for her. She's got a lot of skills. She's strong. Well, she's got to be a first boot. <laughs> Get him hard. Lisa's left behind her family and partner, Matt, to fight here. But given how they met, he most certainly understands her nightly ways. They were across the battlefield from each other and she was sticking people with her nine-foot pike. And then she whisks her helmet off, shakes out her hair. All the guys were, oh! And Matt was first among them. <laughs> That's how it really went down. My brother Jeff and I are very close and we do this together. Jeff is unstoppable in the men's polearm competition. Stop stop the fight! Gold medal winner. USA. But can Lisa deliver like her big bro? Funniest memory I had was he put me in armor and we we're gonna sword fight and, and he hits me and I'm like, ow, ow, He's like, there's no crying, no whining, you can't say anything. And everybody around, there was a big circle going, if you were hitting me that hard, Jeff. And he's just like, no crying, no crying. Okay, keep going. So anyway, that's <laughs> Warriors got to step up to the plate, men and women. What makes you win or lose is how quickly you can adapt. You can call her dream crusher because she made the France girl quit. Start to finish. She peeled the cap right off of the top of that helmet. That's the third fight that Lisa Galley's put out through submission. She's got a lot of strength, amazing woman. Thank you so much. You have a great warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's incredible. You got a lot of heart. It was good to see you out there. Thank you so much. As Lisa flattens all competition to reach the pole arm final, her opponent Marta has received some good news. Her armor has arrived. I feel better in my armor. It's my and it's so comfortable and it's not so heavy. I love my armor. She's good. It's fun to fight people who are, you know, their skill level is up and it, it makes you a better fighter. She's very fast, she's very strong, but uh, I hope that I can fight with her and win. Thousands watch on to see whether it'll be an American or Polish Iron Maiden who's crowned polearm champion of the world. Begin the fight. Marta's knockdown gains Lisa a vital extra point. Come on, come on, come on! Stop the fight! After two rounds, there's a winner. The gold medal, USA. Fantastic, she's a champion. And so is the Polish girl, she's a pit champion too. She stayed there, she's tough as, as, as could be. I got a lot of respect for her. I didn't win, but uh, second place, oh, it's not so good. In next year, I hope I, I will win first place. It felt good to have my brother out there and hear him yelling, and I, I love that. If anything spurs me on, it's him, so. <laughs> Team USA, led by the Gallant. Thank you very Love much, Lady Fighter. There's not a better story than that, I don't know what it is. Gallants, I gotta meet your parents, because I need to work with you. Stay there for a picture real quick. Bring the flag over, come It's very important that women should do this sport. It's empowering. It's probably the best adrenaline rush you could possibly have. 
I hope someday uh, in competitions like this, not uh, stand for fights at 10 girls, it will be uh, 20 or 30 girls. Most medals per capita. In combat sports is not just for me. Just donning the armor for any of these fighters is a, is a testament to their will and their strength of their heart. It's a great outlet. I mean, how many other opportunities do women get to use their full aggression and not be looked down upon for being an aggressive person? I hope after people see us here that more women will put themselves in armor and come out and compete with us.